welcome all to the our course structural analysis this is unit number 1 combined and direct bending stress and uh, i am a course teacher uh, mr surendranath s jadhav assistant professor civil engineering department kit college of engineering kolhapur this is our lesson number 5 before that we just recall our uh, lesson number 4 what we discuss in lesson number 4 is kernel of the section or core of the section in that we uh, discuss for the two type of sections first is a rectangular section and second is a circular section for the rectangular section we get the eccentricity that is less than or equal to b by 6 on the both the um, axis and uh, in uh, circular section we get the eccentricity less than or equal to d by 8 so for rectangle section we can called as a middle third rule and for the circular section we can called as a middle quarter rule we from that we get the core of the section where uh, is tensile stress is zero let us discuss our lesson number 5 that is the chimney so basically chimney is a structures uh, where the uh, direct and bending stress is arise due to two type of loading first is a wind pressure so chimney are tall structure subject to the horizontal wind pressure and the base of the chimney are subject to bending due to the that horizontal wind force and the bending movement at the base produces the bending stress due to the horizontal wind pressure or horizontal wind force so base of the chimney is also subject to the direct stress due to the self weight of the chimney so here we can find that there are two type of loading is acting on the chimney first loading is a horizontal wind pressure or horizontal wind force acting on the surface of the chimney and second is the self weight of the chimney so self weight of the chimney produces the direct stress and horizontal force uh, wind force produces the bending stress so the base of the chimney the bending stress and direct stress are acting so next is uh, what is the how can we find out the direct stress on the chimney so direct stress is nothing but the sigma not is nothing but the p upon area so p nothing but the self weight of the chimney here because the self weight is acting downward and the area where the total uh, weight is carried out that is the cross section area of the base so direct stress is nothing but the sigma not is equal to w upon a so w is the self fit a is the cross section area at the base so next is the bending stress how can you find uh, calculate the bending stress so next is the bending stress how can we find out the bending stress so sigma b is nothing but m upon z so m is the bending moment due to the horizontal uh, wind pressure and z is nothing but the section modulus that is i upon y so sigma b is m upon z so m is the bending moment due to horizontal wind force and z is the modulus of section section modulus so here first the wind force that is the f so uh, wind force acting on the horizontal direction of the surface of the chimney it may be circular chimney it may be rectangular chimney okay so how can we calculate the direct how can we calculate the direct uh, direct force or wind force horizontal force acting on the chimney that is the f is nothing but the k multiplied by p multiplied by ap so where k is nothing but the coefficient of wind resistance okay so that uh, that is uh, depends upon the shape of the chimney okay so where uh, 
if the uh, chimney is rectangular or circular type of chimney then we can get k is nothing but 1 so if the chimney is circular one so that time k factor is nothing but the two third small p is the intensity of wind pressure and that uh, and next is the ap ap is the projected area on the surface exposed to the wind if it is the rectangular type of chimney then rectangular or square type of chimney then it is width of the chimney multiplied by height of the chimney that is a uh, projected area for the rectangular or square, square chimney if chimney is circular one that time the diameter of the chimney multiplied by height of the chimney that is the projected area and b is the width of the chimney and h is the height of the chimney so next is the where that total wind force is acting so generally that will be acting at the cg of the projected area projected surface so for the rectangular chimney that x will be acting sorry that f will be acting wind force will be acting at a height of x that is h by 2 total height by 2 if chimney is trapezoidal type of chimney that time the total wind force will be acting at x distance that is the cg of the uh, trapezoidal shape that is the 2a plus b divided by a plus b multiplied by h by 3 where a is the uh, top width and b is the bottom width so next that wind force will be created bending movement about the base so bending movement capital n at the base of the chimney can be find out by m capital m is equal to f multiplied by x so horizontal wind force multiplied by that lever arm that is x so that is the procedure let us uh, solve one numerical where we can find out the uh, maximum stress and minimum stress at the base of the chimney so first numerical that is determine the maximum and minimum stress at the base of the hollow circular chimney of height 20 meter with the external diameter 4 meter and internal diameter 2 meter the chimney is subjected to a horizontal wind pressure of intensity 1 kilonewton per meter square the specific weight of the chimney material of the chimney is 22 kilonewton per meter cube so here what are the given data here so first given data is height of the chimney that is 20 meter second external diameter that is capital d is 4 meter and internal diameter is small d is equal to 2 meter and next is a horizontal wind pressure small p is given that is the 1 kilonewton per meter square and next is a specific weight of the chimney material is w is equal to 22 kilonewton per meter cube so we have to find out the maximum and minimum stress at the base of the chimney so what are the uh, steps we have to follow so first we have to uh, calculate the weight of the chimney next is the direct stress at the base next is a wind force acting on the chimney next is a bending movement at a base of the chimney next is a bending stress at the base and next after the adding the direct and bending stress we can get the uh, maximum and minimum stress at the base so let us uh, calculate the weight of the chimney so w so weight of the chimney can be calculated by rho multiplied by g multiplied by volume of the chimney so weight density multiplied by volume of the chimney so weight density we can find out by so rho uh, space so uh, so that is nothing but the small w that is specific weight multiplied by area of the uh, cross section multiplied by height so here w is given that is 22 kilonewton per meter cube multiplied by area is pi by 4 uh, capital d uh, 
square minus small d square that is the hollow circular section area of hollow circular section that is pi by 4 4 square minus 2 square multiply by height of the chimney is 20 meter from that we get the weight of the chimney is the thing but the 4146.9 kilo newton so next step is calculate the direct stress at the base so direct stress is nothing but the sigma naught and sigma naught is equal to w divided by a so w is the self weight of the chimney divided by cross section area at the base so self weight is 4146.9 kilonewton divided by area is pi by 4 4 square minus 2 square from that we will get the direct stress that is the 440 kilonewton per meter square so self weight is in kilonewton and area is in meter square so direct stress is 440 kilonewton per meter square so after getting the self weight of the chimney and direct stress we have to find out the wind force so wind force the formula for the wind force is f is equal to k small p multiplied by a p so k is the uh, coefficient of uh, resistance and it that it will be depends upon the shape of the chimney here the uh, shape is circular chimney so that's why k we can take as a two two third next is the ap is the projected area of the surface exposed to the wind here the uh, shape is circular so projected area is diameter multiplied by height of chimney so diameter here we have to take the external diameter so external diameter multiplied by out of uh, height of the chimney external diameter is 4 meter height of chimney is 20 so from that ap is nothing but 80 meter square small p small p is horizontal wind pressure acting on the uh, chimney that is nothing but one kilonewton per meter square that is the given data after multiplying all these three terms k a p and p we will get the wind force so wind force acting on the chimney is capital f is equal to 53.33 kilonewton so next is bending stress so bending stress is nothing but m upon z so m upon i multiply by y so here we have to find out the moment of inertia about the base so moment of inertia is nothing but pi by 64 capital d raised to force minus small d raised to 4 we will get here 11.78 meter raised to 4 next for maximum bending stress we have to take maximum y value that is nothing but the capital d by 2 so capital d is external diameter divided by 2 that is 4 by 2 is 2 meter so z is nothing but i by y 11.78 divided by 2 we will get the 5.89 meter cube so and m is nothing but m is nothing but force multiply by force multiply by x value and x value it is circular ch uh, chimney uh, and uh, rectangular type of chimney in terms of height and uh, x value here is nothing but the h by 2 so h is 20 by 2 is 10 so after multiplying uh, m upon z after dividing m by z we will get the bending stress as 91.54 kN per meter square so here we get the sigma naught and sigma b from that we can calculate the maximum and minimum stress at the base so maximum and minimum stress so maximum stress is sigma naught plus sigma b that is 440 plus 91.54 that is nothing but the 530.54 and next is sigma minimum is nothing but the sigma naught minus sigma b here it is nothing but uh, 349.46 kilonewton per meter square that is the straight former uh, numerical we have to follow just the steps that is the weight of the chimney direct uh, stress of at the base of the chimney wind force uh, bending moment at the base bending stress at the base and then maximum and minimum stress at the base i hope you understand the first numerical uh, on the chimney let us uh, solve another uh, example on chimney that is the a masonry chimney having the shape of frustrum of cone is 25 meter high 
the external diameter at the top and internal diameter at the bottom is 2 meter the chimney is 0.5 meter thick at the base if the weight of the chimney is 180 kN find the uniform wind pressure that may act per unit projected area of the chimney in the order tension at the base may be just avoided so tensile stress will be zero means no tension condition here so minimum stress should be zero or more than zero okay so we have to solve this trapezoidal type of chimney in this numerical so first uh, first given data so given data here the height of the chimney is given that is the 25 meter extra diameter is 3 meter because uh, the extra diameter at the top is 2 meter and internal diameter at the bottom is 2 meter and thickness of the uh, thickness of the chimney at the base is 0.5 meter so 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 meter at the bottom So given data, height of the chimney is 25 meter, external diameter at the bottom is 2 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 that is the 3 meter, internal diameter at the bottom is given that is 2 meter, weight of the chimney is directly given that is the 180 kN, horizontal wind pressure we have to find out, small p we have to find out from this example. For that the uh, condition they have given in this numerical that the uh, no tension condition means the minimum stress should be equal to zero or more than zero that should not be less than zero so here the figure of the trapezoidal uh, chimney so uh, top diameter is 2 meter extra diameter and bottom internal diameter is 2 meter thickness is 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is the 3 meter extra diameter at the base so first we have to calculate the area of base so area of the base is nothing but the pi by 4 extra diameter minus internal extra diameter square minus internal diameter square so pi by 4 3 square minus 2 square from that we will get the area at the base is 3.927 meter square second is moment of inertia at the base about the diameter so moment of inertia i is equal to pi by 64 3 raised to 4 minus 2 raised to 4 that is moment of inertia is nothing but 3.191 meter raised to 4 next is a direct stress at the base of the chimney so direct stress is nothing but the hmm. self weight upon cross section area so self weight that given here so w value is given that is 180 kN area we just find out that is 3.927 meter square so 180 divided by 3.927 we will get the 45.836 kN per meter square is the direct stress at the base projected area of the chimney of trapezium means uh, that is the trapezoidal type of chimney so projected area is nothing but the area of trapezoidal so h by 2 multiply by a plus b so a is uh, uh, height uh, uh, a is uh, top height uh, sorry a is top width b is bottom width so h is the height of the chimney that is 25 divided by 2 multiply by 3 plus 2 from that you will get the projected area is 62.5 meter square next is the height of centroid of the trapezium 
because that required uh, for the bending moment. So bending moment is f multiplied by x. So where the CG of trapezoidal exists, that is the the formula for the uh, centroid of the trapezoidal is nothing but the 2a plus b divided by a plus b multiplied by h by 3. So uh, a is 2 meter, b is 3 meter and a, a, h is 25 meter. After putting all this value in this formula, you will get the height of centroid that is the 11.67 meter from the base. So from that, we can calculate the wind force and bending stress. So wind force is nothing but k multiply by p multiply by ap here k value uh, we can take as a two third because uh, chimney is circular type of chimney so two third is the k value p we have to determine so p is unknown here ap is the projected uh, area of the chimney that is we just calculated that is 62.5 meter square after putting all these things we can get the wind force in terms of small p that is the 41.67 multiply by p in terms of kilonewton next step is the bending moment so bending moment m at the base is nothing but force multiplied by x so f multiplied by x so f is 41.667 multiplied by p multiply by x x is 11.67 so m is here 486.25 small p and the unit of the bending moment is kilonewton meter so next is the bending moment so bending moment uh, sorry after the bending moment we can calculate the bending stress so bending stress is sigma b is equal to m upon i multiply by y so m here 486.25 multiply by p and i here uh, 3.91 sorry th uh, moment of inertia at the base is 3.191 meter raised to 4 y here y is 3 by 2 that is 1.5 after putting all this am i and y value we can get the bending stress is 228.57 p so we know the no tension condition means our minimum stress should not be less than zero it should be greater than or equal to zero so uh, we have to find out the P value according to this condition so sigma minimum means sigma minimum minimum resultant stress that means direct stress minus bending stress it should be or equal to zero so direct stress here 45.83 kilonewton per meter square minus bending stress is 228.57 p is nothing but the zero so after putting we will get the p value so that p is nothing but 0 0.2005 kilonewton per meter square so that p means the horizontal wind pressure so if that much amount of wind pressure is exist on the chimney uh, exert on the chimney that time uh, tension is zero tensile stress is zero at the base of the chimney if the pressure is more than that value that time the uh, tension stress tensile stress will be generated at the base of the chimney at one corner i hope you understand these both the uh, numericals which are based on the chimney thank you